Sun Scourge and Oracle Spectre. What's up, Oracle Spectre? Uh, Crepuscular Rituals. Interesting. Big Sleepy says, Hi, happy to see you streaming again. Uh, here's a split EP I did with another artist. Wish the best for you uh, and Tina. Here's a Google detail doc with details on the songs. So, is it uh, album time? Is that what's going on here? We already at album time? And we're approaching uh, last leg of the stream here, I guess. Yeah. Oops. Do this. Beautiful. Uh, if it is an album request, I gotta just double check here, make sure everything is legitimate. Um, big sleepy. Been there. Wait, there's three albums. Wait, what? How? How are there three albums? When did that happen? Well, it's now at the end of the stream uh, where we listen to three albums. All right, cool. So I guess I'll be streaming a little bit longer, but there's no problem with that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. There it is. Credits. So we got all the credits, uh, essentially, for this album. We have Sun Scourge, uh, who is one of the artists on it, uh, from New York, and apparently Oracle Spectre from California, um, yeah, which is Josh Rivero, uh, and then there is basically a lot of people here in Sun Scourge. Now, um, one thing that I remember saying to Oracle Spectre is, like, maybe reach out and work with other people and see where that goes. So, like... There's no way you already did that this quickly and you have something. I mean, I knew you guys were good. You know, I knew you had something, but damn. Visual media? Oh, nice. Look at that. You got all the, uh, you got all the uh, credits here. Hi, Brad. Happy to see you're back. I'd love for you and chat to give your thoughts on the split EP I worked on. First three songs were done by a separate artist named Sunscorch. He worked on writing the guitar parts and hired a professional drummer for the first three songs. I did the vocals... Uh, for the first and third track, while a different vocalist did the second track, format below is a bit different. I ask you to open this document once in two separate tabs. All the lyrics below, uh, all the lyrics are below the song descriptions, so that way you don't have to scroll back and forth between descriptions and lyrics. Thank, uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you and Tina the best. Here we go. Thank you. Artists and track review. Uh, Sunscorge, basically the collaborative Black and Death core project of YouTubers. Uh, what is the scene fiend? Sunscorge aims to carve a new niche in the genre by blending the occult, Cynthian underground black metal sounds of the 90s with deathcore. Uh, basically, these three songs, I believe, are the. Uh... Actually, let me let me open. Hold on. Now, uh, you know what? Let's just go through. I'll, I'll assume it's in the right order. You are not God's chosen. Basically, is the intro, the sacred apex. Uh, Nocron, Consumer, My Heaven, Isolate, okay, and then the lyrics, I see, okay, this is sick, Big Sleepy, this is, this is gorgeous, it's like Christmas, can't wait to explore this, let's, 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 let's jump into this. You are not God's chosen. The intro to uh, crisp Crepuscular Rituals, the song serves as a dissection of the core components of Black and Death Core. Hmm. Flowing between an at times pure ambient black metal sound and catchy death metal riffs and melodies. Ooh. And then you got the lyrics as well. You are not God's chosen. All right, here we go.
Yeah, okay, so this is why we do this. This is why I love my job, because I don't even know if you know how good this is, Oracle Spectre, because whoever you're hiring to do this with, you know, with these lyrics and whatnot, this is tight. This is pretty solid. Now, of course, there is still that Fiverr feeling to it, which is going to happen when, like, you don't have that connection with the band members, you know? But for what you're trying to do, this is pretty great. say this um you might have overdid it with the mixing it could have been my fault maybe i gave bad advice and eh, the mix needs a little of this little of that listen all that matters here that this music captures what was beautiful about the core and basically like artists like death you know but with artists like death rarely did they ever have gimmicks no crazy look at how overblown and wild it all becomes out of nowhere unexpectedly um rather it would just provide an experience that's very consistent throughout you know really reaches something and i think that you're starting to really get there with this um i love the lyrics actually i love the writing um i think that it's just again there are human elements to it that are missing because maybe the people playing the music weren't really fully sure of the full vision. Um, but the, the calculated feeling is there. It is there. Um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate because it's like, it's supposed to be expression, you know, artistic expression. And part of me does kind of just feel like finding some professional guy to do the drums is like, Maybe you feel the same way. Maybe it's a little too easy. You know, maybe it's too easy. Like, you know what they say? If it's like, if it's too good to be true, it usually is. Finding a miracle man to play on all your music might result in things sounding more robotic and less worth my attention and more just like, 
might as well have been programmed in, you know? Sacred Apex, the next song after. Uh, we still have an outro, though. Still a good song regardless, Smiley Ball. I enjoy it. I think it's an improvement, actually. Um, so, as far as I'm concerned, you guys are continuously, creatively moving in the right direction. There is no shame uh, in that whatsoever. Just be proud. I mean, what you're doing right now, more than most people can do. So, Oh my god, and the streams, too. Like, look at that. You guys are you're popping off. All right? You're doing great. I love to see it. The Sacred Apex, next song. Apparently inspired by the sounds of bands of the mid-2010s, such as Chelsea Grin and Infinite Annihilator. Uh, this song is meant to unite an aggressive, slamming deathcore sound with more historic black metal undertones. Great hook.
my god. I didn't even notice the strings until now. So, I mean, here's the thing. is like, that previous song was already, like, I was like, okay, so this is a step up from the previous project. The Sacred Apex is insane. This is the full package. Absolutely stunning. Like, genuinely... Any issues I had with the previous one... It's almost like if I was bored and looking for things to be upset about with that previous song, this this one had no instance of me being away from it. Now you might be upset, Bradley. That wasn't me on the vocals. What are you doing? Bradley, that wasn't me that time on the vocal. Listen, okay? Everybody is doing a good part here to make a good product. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Keep it up. Next song, Nakron. Also, I don't mind scrolling up and down. Inspired by Worm and uh, Perturbator, the goal of this song was to write a deathcore song with the occult sound of both Blackened, Death, Doom, and Dark Synthwave. Oh my god. Whoa. Those synths, those synths sound great. Genuinely, I'm so blown away by the sound of this. Um, I'm, I, I, I should go back and read the lyrics because I wasn't even watching them. I genuinely just love how this final product has come together. <laughs>
wait to one day understand what just happened. I don't know how it keeps getting better, but this song and the previous song are both remarkable. I'll tell you what, uh, Oracle Spectre, that song, there was not a dull moment in there, I love it, would listen again. Meaning, congrats. I'm feeling... All right, wonderful. Was, oh, oh shit! Oh crap! Uh oh, guys, it's my receipt for my thousand dollars. Oh, the is it the? Anyways, whoops, uh-oh, Tina, I accidentally opened the screen, and it's my donation to the res International Rescue Committee. You know, for, for kids in Sudan. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, back to the music. Jesus, I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm done fucking around. Consumer. All right, so... That was Sunscorch, basically. Oracle Spectre. So, in this track, the protagonist is born into the world's uh, seediest un underbelly. Oh, seediest. In the lower class. Upon seeing what life can be in the elite, he begins his journey to change his mindset and those around him to make a society where everyone could be elite. Which is not... Yeah, so that's going to go bad, right? When he realizes his utopia cannot become a possible reality through pure-hearted means, he lies, cheats, murders, and steals. Quickly! They become powerful enough to change society. Yep. Uh, he would have to give up his luxuries. Nothing has changed within society and the status quo remains. He became the oppressor. We all cry for equal power until we're given the same power that abused us. <sighs> yeah, something like that. All right. Consumer, here we go. Mixes again, compression's a bit rough, but still cool. You know, I'm gonna bring up an example. Thank you, baby. No, I feel I completely understand. You, you relax. Okay? Love you. And it needs to relax. Like, actually. It needs a rest. My wonderful, lovely partner. 
been going through emotional stress like no other from people who are trying to help us. She can't even move off the couch. These people are helping us so good, by the way. Story's amazing, sound is great. I imagine it's gonna have some ambitious outro. This is amazing. I mean, look, Oracle Spectre, at this point, I'm just excited to see where you go from here. I mean, you guys are making incredible improvements. Well, I mean, it's like you doing a lot of this shit, but like, now you're working with other people, and now your energy's rubbing off on other people creatively. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm watching an artist develop. It's beautiful. Let me do it. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get what you mean by that. Oh, God. That's horrible. The greatest lie of all. It's not my fault. I meant well. The devil made me do it. Crazy, dude. Great song. I mean, consumer. Uh, basically, talking about. I mean, consumer could literally be consumer as in like consumers of products or consumer as in literally someone who consumes like off of the people around them. You know what I mean? Both instances, I feel like have some sort of meaning here where, you know, it's like talking about want to be high class, right? And regardless, this is awesome, man. This this is sick. Next song, my heaven. Let's see where you go from here. The pursuit of peace is a paradox. Mmm, I've been fighting for peace for years. However, when I achieve it, I'm fighting to keep it. Oh my god. 
bringing me back out of my peace. Thus, the paradox of heaven is complete. Ooh. That fuck, that's fucking me up, man. The concept. All right. <laughs> Oracle Spectre, um, once again, I mean, this, this song is great. It's, it's so to the point. It's really important to me that you understood that this song doesn't need to be five minutes. Like, the fact that it is two minutes is a big deal. And it is a big deal for a good reason. Because it actually is such a powerful song on its own, message-wise, that it is allowed to be a flash in the pan. You know this. Yeah, you play into it. I love it. Smiley ball. All right. Next song, Isolate uh, Chrysalis. Depression is the gateway for change. Concealed alone, a chrysalis of ice envelops me. And there I'm alone and untouchable. But I desire to be hurt, to be loved. In order to truly change, I must lose my old skin. The pain of leaving my old self is intense. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Very important, you guys. All right, final song.
bad for not even being on the right song lyrics. <clears throat> you couldn't tell I wasn't looking at the lyrics. In fact, I'm so fascinated by this sound. This part right here, this breakdown, right around me, way right there. Yeah, where this mouse is. Where all of a sudden this song almost literally feels like it transforms into another song entirely. It was a great idea. With sloppy execution, it's one of the worst parts of the album, in my opinion, just in terms of the uh, actual like execution of it, mixing wise. Now, again, I want to keep it positive with this album. You've done an amazing job here, but it is worth still mentioning that there is places on a technical standpoint that you can improve. Um, but I want to make it very clear that, like, philosoph like philosophically speaking, Oracle. Let's get real here. Philosophically speaking, motherfuckers should be listening. They should be listening to your music. What you are saying, the stories you are telling are great. You have a lot of wonderful ideas, and you are putting in fucking work to make it a dream come true. Like, I have no doubt that you are just going to keep making the right steps right now, considering you just, well, made this, which is a great project. on fire.
Oh, it's got autoplay on. That's what it is. Listen, I don't really like giving scores anymore. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to start with that. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to start with disappointing you. I'm not going to give it a number. But also, you're the first album from returning. Here's what I think, Oracle Spectre. What you're saying in these songs is really impactful. I can tell it comes from the heart. I can tell you put a lot of time into thinking about it. And the fact that you're able to channel that into music is remarkable. The fact that that music is continuing to get better, the ideas are continuing to flush out, sound is getting richer, um, watching you improve, watching you collaborate like this and have it just go over so well is a joy. It's amazing seeing you do so well musically, and I hope that you just continue with whatever growth it is that you are doing. Like you say, happiness is a battle. You're fighting like hell, and your service is not going underappreciated. Smiley ball to this. Thank you so much. You did a fantastic job. Believe it or not, we actually have, I believe, another album directly after. Yep. So we got an, a, a new album. Now, that being said, I'm going to think, I, I think I'm going to take my last break of the stream. Turns out that this album, I didn't even see that this album was on the queue. Or it was it the previous one I didn't see? Well, one of them I didn't see. So there's actually one more album than I thought there would be. Meaning I'm going to take little bit of a short break come back and we're just gonna keep, you know run through do everything we need to I want to thank everyone again for being here i hope you have a good rest of your day uh afterwards if, if you're you know tapping out it's three o'clock right here beautiful uh it's a beautiful afternoon sunny day uh and i'll be back in a second all right peace I used to have two girlfriends